Hey everybody, Arnaldo Wofferman here of Gear It First. A lot of you guys have been seeing the progress on my house, which right now we're in the middle of renovating to add a saltwater fish tank. So we decided we're just gonna paint the whole house and get it all done in one shot. But anyhow, um, I pretty much have converted everything to Google Home, Smart Home. And it's uh, one out of sheer laziness and two, I thought it was pretty damn cool. So the first thing is why Google Home? Why not Alexa? Well, Google Home is easier to program as far as telling it to do things. It has a lot more that it can do. Uh, and then Amazon's turning evil, so more evil than Google. Uh, and obviously the speakers in Google Home sound way better than Alexa, I mean, or Amazon Echo, they really do. So then why Google Home and not the HomePod? I mean, Apple Kit's pretty dope, except nothing really supports Apple Kit. The only things that support it are either really expensive and don't offer that many features or just plain suck. Not, not happy at all with Apple Kit. So Google Home it is. So every house or every room in the house has one of the little standard guys right here. They sound great too and they're loud as hell. And then the kitchen also has this guy right here. Excuse me, cat. Right here, this is the display version. And it's cool because you can tell it, okay, Google Home, you know, pull up uh, recipes for whatever, and it'll show you the recipes, and you don't have to touch it. Like, you can tell it what to do, which is pretty dope. Like, okay, go to the next step or read everything out to me. Uh, so I thought that was pretty neat. Also, these have incredible pickup. So I can be way over here, either side, and say, okay, well, what time is it? I mean, I've been in other rooms and it'll still pick it up so you don't have to yell to talk to it, which is pretty dope. It also means you don't need one in every single room, but I wanted it because it does have what we call broadcast and you can literally use Google to, or Google Home as an intercom. So let's talk about everything that it's controlling and all the smart devices. And again, I do apologize if it's a mess in the house, we are renovating. I mean. So yeah, deal with it. All right, first thing are the bulbs. I actually went cheap on these because the cheapest ones, in my opinion, have the best bang for the buck. And this is a brand of bulb called Mercury. I actually have one here. There's an RGB version like this. So we'll make the hallway blue. You got it, changing two lights. We'll make the hallway red. Okay, changing two lights. Make the hallway white. You got it, changing Pretty instantaneous. But these bulbs, while it's nice and bright, are not as bright or as vivid as these guys that are close to 800 lumens a pop. So how do you control these? There's quite a few different ways, but the easiest way for me to do it and the fans is, I don't wanna buy a smart fan because smart fans are expensive and they're, they don't offer as many features as some of the nicer fans that you can pick up. You know, some a couple of these are from Lowe's and the one in my room is from Dan's Fan City. Uh, but all these fans can be converted to run on those little remote controls. You know, we've all seen them. Well, those remote controls all use the same set of, I guess, protocols. And this unit right here, link below, it's from Bond. Now this is the greatest unit ever. It covers a 2,500 foot area. And what it does is it speaks to all those individual remotes in the fans. And that means I can dim the lights, I can bring them up, bring them down, so I can convert all my fans into smart fixtures. So, look okay. again, turn off the kitchen lights. I see, okay. it pairs both of them. So this is one of the Mercury bulbs, and then this is control with Bond. But Google can pair it all as one. Okay. Turn on the kitchen fan. You got it, turning the kitchen fan on. Turn on the kitchen lights. You got it. Turn awesome. Two lights on. Next were the skylights. Now, I hated these for two reasons. I'm not sure how to help with it's that. It's fine. Guy. So I hate these guys. Okay, first of all, you need a ballast. Ballasts are hot. They are really hot. And they do waste a lot of electricity. So I convert them to these. These actually do not need a ballast. The Philips over there do need a ballast. <laughs> so those LED ones are gonna go right back to where they came from. These don't require a ballast, super easy to uh, wire up, and they're not Google Home controlled. So I got these switches right here. They can control, turn on and off, or oh, okay, uh, turn on the skylights in the kitchen. Okay, turning on the kitchen skylight. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take a look at this device. Now this can be controlled with your iPhone, with your iWatch or Google Home. This is Nest. Out of all the smart devices, this is the absolute best thing I have 
ever bought other than Bond. And by the way, big kudos to Bond. The first unit arrived where it was not working right. They overnighted me another. The Nest has saved me anywhere from 20 to 50 bucks a month. It paid for itself within three months. You're an idiot if you don't get Nest, straight up. Get it. Uh, Google Home also controls. I went ahead and undid everything so you can see it. This little device right there. Look at that cute little thing. What is that? Okay, well, this guy controls LED tape. You can see it there. And you can see the 12 volt controller. And there's my LED tape there. So I do have these guys are these, these are the mercury bulbs in whatever color I want. And then the LED tape. Make the LED strips blue. There it is right there. Or I can also just control it directly from Google Home without even having to get into the app. You know, while we're here, let's talk about Ring. Incredible hardware, incredible support, the absolute worst software ever. This is the post where you can ring it. And actually, I'm, I'm gonna show you right now. Hang on one second. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this here. Okay, I got a notification. Someone's at my front door. And keep in mind, I'm on my Wi-Fi right now, okay? This should be instantaneous. Okay, one, two, there it is, there. Look, look how long this is taking. I mean, seriously. And this is on multiple phones. I mean, the image is great and everything, but can you imagine, like, uh, by then somebody would have left. I mean, if it's, uh, you know, telemark or, I mean, a, a solicitor, great. But I'm glad they left, but it's awful. Uh, terrible software. I definitely do not recommend getting Ring until they get their crap together. Mercury, who makes these bulbs right here, does make one of these. It's got pretty good ratings. I may have to test that out. But I will say Ring has great customer service. On the forefront of not great customer service, again, we're renovating, so a lot of crap is in here right now, is Chamberlain. Chamberlain kind of like Bond. It communicates with your garage door opener conventions with Smart Garage. There's a little sensor that tells it whether it's open or not. Here's the problem. It disconnects from Google Home. You can't open the garage door with Google Home because they're worried that if somebody screams it, Google Home will pick it up and open the garage door and you can break in. Okay, that's legit, but maybe you could add a pin code or since Google Home recognizes your voice, you can have it going based off voice recognition. So, there's that. Then let's say I want to close the door. Tell my cue to close the garage door. I need permission before I can that. personal info for anything. That. To change it's settings, so stupid. Google Home app on your phone. So I got to go on this one and it could be a Google Home problem, but no other device is doing this. Tell my cue to close the garage door. So now we got to wait for this thing to flash you and have a freaking party. And you can't even say just close the garage door. You're pretty much, you're pretty much forced to having to say my cue because this is not a native Google app device or Google Home. Now you may say, why is that? Well, because the a-holes at Chamberlain want you to pay $10 a year for that to communicate with Google Home. Ah, it's not an issue, 10 bucks a year, really. What, what's the matter with that? The problem is that they advertise that this thing works with Google Home and uh, IFTT and Alexa and all that out of the box, but it doesn't. You set it up, then you gotta pay them. No, you should've been honest to people like, hey, there's a subscription service. They're, they're very sneaky lying people and it doesn't work that well. Don't get Chamberlain, it's a piece of crap. The only reason I got it is because where I got it from, I know I can return it when this thing is done because I'm waiting for Bond. Bond already controls remote control fireplaces and fans and I'm gonna wait because they're gonna be adding support with the same unit, just a firmware update to control the garage door. So you bet you, you know what, that I'm gonna have Bond do it and I'm gonna freaking blow that crap up. Chamberlain's a piece of crap. Don't get it. Seriously, it's awful. Google Home does a lot of great things. You can tell it to pull up recipes. You can tell it, you know, to give you the weather, the news, uh, the actual kitchen display. Uh, well, uh, we call it the kitchen display will play. If you tell it, you know, good morning, it'll give you the stocks. It'll give you relevant news and you can tell it to however you want. Um, you know, it'll even uh, unleash the fart. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, so that was the whole point of this video right there.
for the smart plugs I chose <laughs> the Mercury brand. Mercury is fantastic, huge fan of them because they're affordable. And I bought IP65 rated plugs because they also have the timer built in. So even if the internet's out, they will still turn on and off whenever I program them to. This is great for our Christmas lights and it's also great for the aquariums. My aquariums are temporarily on right now, except that one. That's on a whole different smart system uh, that simulates sunlight and all that. But uh, turn off the aquariums. Now, this one didn't reply because that Google Home somehow picked it all up. And again, excuse the mess, just in the middle of renovating. So that's it. That's pretty much the smart home. Gone over every device imaginable, including smart switches. We have our smart outlets, smart switches, smart bulbs. And then the last device actually is Kibo. Pretty dope looking little lock. Now you touch it and it's supposed to open and close and it'll actually know if you're in front or if you're not in front. The problem is that this damn thing hardly ever wants to work the way that it should. See it? It doesn't. It, sometimes you'll tap it, it doesn't even recognize your tap at all. Uh, again, they do have great customer service though. They sent me another one right away when I had an issue with the first one. But I mean, really, how many of these do I have to have? And then a new 2.0, this is the new version. Uh, it's even worse to put together. Before, you could just pop it up and take out the batteries. This one, you gotta open like three or four tiny little screws to strip easily. Not a fan of Kivo. I would definitely recommend August. I don't wanna say I would, I would recommend August because I haven't used August yet. That could be a colossal waste of money, but I can tell you that Kivo pissing me off. So, hopefully this uh, answers all of your questions. You may ask why I or the sound kind of sounded weird when I said Google, okay, Google, I don't want your systems to go crazy if you already do have Google. So hopefully that answers your questions again. Sorry, the house is a mess, but we're in the middle of renovating. Chill out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave comments below. Have a good night and God bless. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Gear it first, honest reviews, incredible gig logs, lots of tips and tricks, and more tutorials than any other YouTube channel. I guarantee it or your money back.